see the shin of Allah on the day of judgment. Actually, recognize Allah from his shin. Yes. Okay. The so, okay, wait. So the, you guys ask question, how do you know? That, that would be the shin of Allah. So Jesus yeah. himself was like Allah. The believer, it says the believers so will the recognize the shin of Allah. And they have yes. to have the temple sacrifice. It doesn't, the, we, we don't discuss, this is from, um, from the foundation of our religion, that we do not discuss anything regarding how, so any attributes of God, we don't resemble them, we don't have a likeness for them, we don't distort the meaning of the verse, that basically the meaning of the word, so we don't like interpret them the way, whatever we think it is, all right, we just accept them the way they are, yes? So if Allah mentioned, in one of the verse he mentioned uh, basically, to say, he asked to Satan, why don't you prostrate to Adam, the one who I created with my two hands? God telling Satan this, okay? Now this affirms that he had two hands, but we don't discuss how they look like, what they look like. Basically the whole, whatever ask, you guys ask us, so how do you use it? Yusuf. So, here's, let, let me just respond, because you made a couple of points. I'm very disappointed. 21st century, 2018, I met Speaker's Corner and you are just simply confirming actually Islam doesn't give you any right to question what is its teaching. That is just disappointing to me. That is just disappointing to me. So even as a Muslim, still you don't discuss. Even as a Muslim, still you accept what it says. I am not a Muslim. I believe Islam is false religion, Muhammad is false prophet, and Quran is false book. Therefore, <coughs> therefore, I do have questions. Oh, therefore, he just spat on the floor. Therefore, I do have questions. So, as a Christian, let me just turn on the hadith to you, and I ask my basic questions. Since that's the topic you want to talk. I remember the question. Yeah, yeah. that's the thing. So the question you asked me last time: How would you know? Yeah. How does it the believers know this one, firstly, the first source that we know this is because we read about it in the Quran. Okay, so, let's right. find, it's fine, thank you. So, here's the thing, here's the thing. So, here's the thing. You are not recognizing Allah from His glory, from His face, or from any of His attributes, but you are recognizing Allah because of his shin. So my question to you, my, so in Christian scripture, God is spirit. Eter there was a time and place, eternal son of God, took up human nature on himself, become God man, that's Lord Jesus Christ. My understanding was, my understanding was, Muslims believe Allah is spirit as well. But it is Allah, it is Allah, it is Allah will be recognized from his shin. So my question to you, what is it? Spirit. If you regard it as spirit as a soul, we don't say a spirit. It's not no, spirit. spirit and souls are different. I don't know what you mean by spirit then. You don't know we what believe is he's an entity, yes. Okay. So you believe Allah is entity? Okay, I, I will I will touch on that. You say in Arabic it's what shape. I will I will touch on that. So can you just tell me what as a Christian what I should expect shin of Allah look like? Did Allah has a tattoo on his shin which says La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Abdul Rasulullah. So does Allah have a tattoo says Muhammad is his last prophet? As we know, Muhammad's name is written on his chair. Did Allah shave? Did Allah shave his shin? Uh, is there anything in his shin that he should be recognized? Since you have that on the day of judgment, since believers has nothing to do with the character of Allah, and also remember, Allah is going to change the forms and forms and forms. Since Muslims has nothing to do with the character of Allah, but it has something, something to do with his shin, I am asking, what is the difference in, with the shin of Allah versus your shin? They are not the same. How do you know? Because Allah mentions, this the committee shin. Okay, how, how does it, uh, where does Allah say how his shin is different than anything, the shin of Yusuf? Anything, Lisa Kamithi Shay, meaning there is nothing unto Allah. So, so there is nothing like to Allah. Surah 42, verse 11. Surah 42, verse 11. 
but you just told me Allah is entity and then you and then we are describing hands of Allah we are describing chairs of Allah we are describing his shin yes. yet there is nothing like Allah. Allah and then there are you've got a certain hadith talks about eyes of Allah yes. there are not Allah yeah it's lots of things so yeah, yeah. how come the while there think, is nothing the way, like the way, Allah basically the way you guys think is anthropomorphism anthropomorphism you know what does that mean anthropomorphism basically you resemble Allah to his creation no God, you resemble God to his creation so i am christian no, no, the reason you I said, just a moment yes. just a moment you you are just about to accuse me Yes. Before you accuse me and committed sin, the, I'm gonna, this, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna respond. Yeah. So, here's the thing. My name is Hatun. Yes. Okay. I am. I currently I am living in 2018. 2018. The hadith I read to you is compiled under the Sahih Bukhari. Sahih Bukhari died in 817. Okay. The, the verse which we looked at last week, that was comes from the Quran. Quran is compiled from 7th century, 8th century, and then it goes on. It since I am, since I am not Sahih Buka, Imam Bukhari, he's, he's got like full name, I'm just calling him Bukhari. Since I am not Bukhari, since I am not Muhammad, since I am not Allah, I don't think you have any right to even propose that I am lying because all I said, all I said, what was the hadith was saying? Hadith is using shin. Hadith could simply say, there is nothing like Allah the on the day of judgment, on the day of judgment, Allah will be recognized. But hadith steps in and then put, gives attributes of, um, not attributes, description of Allah uses those de descriptions with the human descriptions. I am not Allah. I am not Bukhari, I am not Muhammad, I didn't do that. Yes, so, yes, yes. if you are telling me people are comparing Allah to his creation, you are simply telling me that is what Bukhari did and what is that's it's what not Muslims Bukhari, are it's actually reading. in the Quran. Yeah, and then Quran. And the Quran is what I know. Allah. Yeah. Okay. So, it's so, not me. So, you just accused yeah. me. No, I didn't to, accuse you of anything. To, you accused, you told me you I describe. Yeah. yeah. That's, no, yeah. I'm simply reading yeah. what Sahih Bukhari and what okay. Quran says. Then so, you question something. Yeah. Then you ask me a question. Yeah. Oh, so is now it you shaved? are. Is it this? Is it yeah. that? You then are you talking said, about the physical. You are giving me this physical description of shin. You are saying I'm this not. is the shin of Allah. That is Sahih Bukhari and that's the Quran. Okay. Therefore, I am curious. Okay. I want to know what this shin looks like. Exactly. Because no. people are gonna recognize is, it. So, is it shaved? This is this question made me say what I said. All right? So is it shaved? This is why you should listen first to what I told you. If there, if there is no likeness to Allah, how do you want me to respond to that? If we believe, if, if Allah there is says, nothing like Allah, what is about His shape? He's unique. He's unique. Nobody can describe anything. I tell you what. I was gonna say last time I didn't have much time. No, this time as well. Uh, for for us. Yeah, this is a knowledge, a type of knowledge about Allah, about God. Because I can ask you the same thing about God, about the Father yeah, in the Bible. Yeah, yeah? Let, let how me, does the Father look like? Yeah, let me first okay, respond. How does, yeah, I'm going to respond. I can, I can actually ask the same thing about the Father. I'm, yeah, I'm going to okay. I'm going to respond. I'm going to say something. So one of the things Christians and Muslims agree is, OK, besides there is hell and, and that separation is not very good. And both of us believe it is only our our faith is going to take you to paradise. Yours is a little bit different, but that's kind of overall. Also, we agree there is nothing like God in this world. Okay, God is unique. Am I saying we something don't, different then? No, I'm just saying yeah. we agree on that. Yeah. But what happens is, where is our disagreement is, Sahih Bukhari Hadith steps in, Quran steps in, and then gives us a description of Allah. It doesn't give a description, that, it just name, it, it names the attributes. So is the shin attributes of Allah? If Allah can find is the Allah, shin, okay, Allah where that, does it say shin is the attributes of Allah? Allah mentioned it in the Quran. Where? And on the day of judgment, he where? will bear, light, bear oh, uh, shin. Okay. And the believers will frustrate. Okay. So, so it's not us we saying this. We don't make it up. We just take it from the Quran. That's it. Okay. So and we as, are you, take it, as you take it from the Quran, 
and as you do not question it from the Quran, do I am the one. I am the one who is questioning behalf of behalf you, behalf of you. Reason is that for that is because already it is talking about giving the physical description for Allah. Beside that, beside that, it says uncover the shin. Okay, lay bare the shin, uncover the shin. So, what I'm wearing, I'm wearing trousers. When I pull my trousers up, I'm uncovering my leg. So, for me to uncover my leg, I need to have something physical under it. So, Allah is uncovering, wearing his PJs, wearing his dressing down, whatever he's wearing, he's uncovering his shin. That's all I am asking. What that shin looks like. Sorry? Batteries are in the back. Back. Oh, it's over there. Somewhere over there. I don't really answer your question, yeah? No, no, I was answering the your guys' questions, but oh, okay. so the when so we believe that the Prophet Muhammad he went to Isra al Miraj, he went on the night journey. How did he go there? Huh? How did he go there? It's not a, like God. How did Jesus raise how, up? How did he right? go there? Isra al Miraj. How did he go there? Allah took him. How? Allah took him. He and Miraj, Miraj. Uh, some kind of a, a thing. We okay, don't let, know. okay, let me break that right. down. Okay. Right. So, so can anyway, you treat me? Regardless of this, but he, I want I want to unpack that. Eventually, he spoke to God, and his companions they asked him, "Did you see God?" He said, "How can I see God?" Okay. All I saw was yeah. light, light, light. Meaning, yeah, let we me, believe let me that tell God you. is there is a barrier. It's a hijab. It's a hijab made out of light between the creation, between creation and God. On the day of judgment. Yes, uh, partly to Allah to reveal the shit, you will uh, lift up this hijab, this light, basically, a curtain of light. All right, let me so, respond something. Yourself. Anyways, but we do not, and this is an something, yes, something that is in the future, happening, this event. Yeah, so for me, to anyone to give you an answer, or how is it shaved, nobody's gonna give you the answer. Okay. You'll be looking at something as impossibility. Okay. All right? Let, let me comment on you, something you said. I can bring, I can, I can read the Bible and I can show that I love you to ask me question about they're, Bible they're, because they're I gonna know... Be, listen, they're gonna not, be, this is gonna be attributes of God mentioned in there, okay? okay. Yeah, let, and I will ask you, how does the attributes look like? Okay, let me, let me respond, let me respond. Here's the thing, Yusuf. You think you can ask the questions about my scripture, but when it comes to scripture, I'm talking about God. When it comes to your scripture, when it comes to your God, you are telling me actually you take it as it says without questioning anything. I love you to reflect on that in your own time. Okay, Bible is ready. We question, Let me finish. Authentic or not? Let me finish. Right, go on. Bible is here and ready to answer the questions. God, my God is able to deal with your questions. As a Christian, I study my Bible, I question, I ask questions. But something in Islam, you are just telling me, we take it as it says. I'm just, I'm just asking questions on that, okay? Just reflect that in your own time. Here's the thing, my second thing is, of course I question the shin of Allah. That's what all you are gonna get on the day of judgment. Let me finish. I listen to you. Let me finish. That's what you are gonna get. And then that scripture part of your writing tells us Allah is gonna uncover his shin. So it is talking about something physical. Therefore, I am curious how Muslims are gonna recognize his shin. I am sure there is very big similarity between your shin and Daniel's shin. Yeah, okay, both of the them is hairy. Because we are the same creation. We are so creation. Th there is very, yes. very, there is very similarities. Okay. Still, there will be differences. So, my question, therefore, my question to you: What makes Allah Shin different than the rest of the believers? Which you said, which you said, you just accepted, and it is one of the attributes of Allah. But How am I that respond is to something if I don't have seen it. That is so. That's fine. You don't know. That's exactly. fine. Don't know. That's what yeah. we're saying. We but don't know. my question, know. I am curious. I love to know. You are not recognizing God from His character, but from His shin. There is a big, big problem. Uh, let me tell you something. Okay? I haven't finished. I'm gonna give you time. I would love you to just explain me these mirage things. How did Muhammad end up in mirage? God took him on a night journey. So God took him on a night journey. Yes. When? He sent Jibril to take him with him. When? Up. When 
I don't know the exact date, but I think it was uh, somewhere... Six to one this? I don't know the thing, but it was like 10 years. Yeah, six to one days. Ten years uh, from the beginning, starting of the, the revelation. So ten okay. years. So six to one days. Towards one year before the Hijrah. Okay. All right. So he went to Mirage. He had this Mirage journey. He met the prophets. He went to. He went to the prophets. Jerusalem. Yeah, yeah. So, who are your eyewitnesses? Huh? Who are the eyewitnesses? There were. That, this is the funny thing. Yeah. Who are the, the eyewitnesses? The, 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 he himself narrated this, the prophet, all right? Who saw, so if prophet, yes. who's supposed to be the best Eyewitness. example to mankind yes. and last prophet of all, okay? Yes. I am sure from Medina to Jerusalem, how many kilometers? Over 600 miles? I'm just, I, I'm guessing, I don't know. 600 miles, this man went all the way for 600 miles, okay? No one ever saw that? Yes. No one ever saw that? Yes. Hmm. Okay, let me, let me respond to this. Yeah? Hmm. This is one of the miracles of the... That it I don't see that as a miracle. Okay. I see okay. that okay, as let a... Explain to you. Yeah. Let me explain to you. Yeah? Yes, please make your point. The, How you see that as a prophet as well? Okay. The same response was given to him because he started claiming this. The prophet said, I went last night to Quds in Jerusalem and I went to the heavens in one night. Yeah, wait, let's wait. see the reference. This is the Quran. So it's not in the Quran. It's Surah Al Isra is the first verse. Surah, Surah 17, first verse. Yeah. Okay, let's see. So Surah 17, verse, five, verse 1 tells us Muhammad's journey to Jerusalem. Yeah. Exalted, Exalted is, he is he who took, took his, his servant yes. by night from the Masjid al-Haram to, to Masjid al-Aska, yes. who is surrendering. We have blessed to show him of our signs. Indeed, he is hearing and seeing. So my question was to you. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm breaking done. this down. Yes. Okay, yes. just make sure, yes. make sure you answer the questions while we have time, okay? So, that, the way you question this, how, where were the eyewitnesses, where is this, how is that possible, yes? Yeah, this was the same, and the same response, the, uh, the disbelievers at his time, he's, 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 he's in Mecca, the disbelievers, they started mocking him for making this statement, all right? Then, they said, okay, okay, you know what, okay. Describe, because they knew the Prophet Muhammad, he never went to, he never went to Jerusalem. He never been there. He said, "Okay, describe to us the temple. Describe to us the mosque there. Describe it to us." And he described brick for brick for brick for brick. Okay, and then there was a, the, the, one of the disbelievers at that time said. He, because he went so many times that he know exactly how that place is. And he felt that, yes, he's speaking the truth. But because they were disbelievers, they, they still reject him. Okay. All right, and there's another thing he said, because during the night he was, he saw travelers. And they had lost a camel. And he said, there's going to come now. So and so is going to come from there now. And they checked and yet it's correct. So, Just to make a, pro a, a proof against them. All right, now, for him to know how the thing look exactly, how would that? How would he know this? Yeah. So, Except that he's been the, the Quran. Allah took him there. So, um, Sahih Muslim three, three or nine kind of talks about it, and I'm gonna take your version of the story, okay? Because Don't take my version, take the version that is mentioned. Just more, just more. Go I'm gonna take your version of the story because right now it's not. It's like I don't have the hadith in front of me, okay? So, from your version of story. Muhammad traveled all the way to Jerusalem from Medina, okay, around 620s. We already confirmed that was approximately 10 years yeah. after his, um, re his revelation starts. Can you just help me out? When was the Alaska Mosque is built? Huh? When was the Alaska Mosque is built? I don't know the exact time. 709? Yeah. So Muhammad, no, no, no. let me was, let me just put together. Time, let me the, just put the, the, together. The, what I know, what you said you don't know the date. The date is 709. Yeah. Alaska know? Mosque is built 709. Yeah. Okay. So Muhammad traveled there in 620, yeah. and then 709. 
there is 89 years of gap. Hmm. You don't have any eyewitnesses who saw Muhammad went there. Okay? Muhammad was capable to just tell very good bedtime stories for people which a more which building should will be built in 89 years. What you you just assume that the mosque that is built now he was describing this mosque. What is, so you don't believe that was the Alaska mosque because Quran says here look I know it says but Al Masjid Al Aska The Kaaba look different it's I'm not talking well. about the Kaaba no, no, I'm just saying the Kaaba look Muhammad? different at that time as well He Allah, described it the way we see it then Yusuf, not now Yusuf All right, go Allah is talking about Alaska mosque Okay Masjid Al Aska Masjid Al Haram yeah. to Alaska mosque Okay Alaska mosque is the mosque in Jerusalem wait, wait, wait. Alaska Mosque is like the 600 miles journey Muhammad went, okay? Which is... Yeah, Alaska. Okay? So, which is built on? When was the date? What is the date of Alaska Mosque? Which date did you say? What is the date of Alaska Mosque? All we know that the foundation was built by Prophet Abraham with his son Isaac, okay? And the Masjid For Alaska Aram. Mosque. <laughs> Where, did Where is your reference for Where that? The Jewish, Where is your reference? The mosque was Yusuf. there when the time of David, the mosque was there in the time of? Yusuf. Yes. Anyways, I, I have, have to go, I need to pray. Okay, give me, okay? give me one, two minutes, maximum I, I two minutes. Go, one, minute. Have, one, one minute, <laughs> one minute, one minute, one minute. I allowed you to get away with the misinformation you have, okay? But here's the bottom line, okay? I already moved from the shin because you don't know on that and then you don't want to question that. Quran, you, you brought it up, you brought it up, Mirage. You don't even know if anyone saw Muhammad had a visit to Jerusalem or not, okay? Answer is zero people saw Muhammad travel to Jerusalem. And sake of the argument, okay, let's say my brain is out of my brain, my mind, okay? Let's say he went there and then you've got hundreds of eyewitnesses. Muhammad just lied to the people which claiming that he saw the mosque while mosque was built on in 709. It will make sense if only if only Muhammad start having revelation in 700s. That makes Muhammad to be dead for 100 years and then come back to life again in 700s or not even born in 600s to visit that Alaska mosque which according to, according to your build, according to us build approximately 89 years after his visit. And he described that, you said he described that. And Sahih Muslim, Sahih Muslim 309 talks about Muhammad went inside this Alaska mosque. Listen, the question that was put to him was by the disbelievers, and he answered their question. Yeah, he lied to the disbelievers he as he's lying to the Muslims today. No, he's not. no you just proved once again for me this book is not you, reliable. You, you think that this the book. Was built then. Who, said, who said he was describing the mosque that was built? El it names the mosque. It doesn't say any place. It says Masjid Alaska, built in 709. Unless, no, unless you do your homework and then bring something the we need to discuss mosque, next week. The, that building, yes, the mosque was built long, long. Any place of worship that was where people used to work. Solomon prayed there. Solomon built? never built a mosque. We're not talking about a mosque. Solomon Listen. never built Alaska mosque. Did he build a place of worship? Solomon never built Alaska mosque. Did, 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 Solomon did, did, did not do Listen, that, sir. Whatever you want to call it. Here's the thing. Mosque, okay. yes. uh, it's not um, how I call it. The Quran mosque, simply it's called... calls it Alaska Masjid Alaska. That's the Masjid, mosque. Yes, you know okay, what that is the mosque. No, no, Masjid, don't play with the word. Don't play with you the words with the now. Word as well now. Because you, you Quran are, mentioned Masjid. Quran, Quran gives the name mention, of it. It is like Masjid al Yusuf. Okay. It is the same thing Quran is saying. Yusuf is at Speaker's Corner 23rd of September around 6 30 in the evening. Yeah. He's wearing black running shoes, gray is that trousers or trousers, yeah. gray trousers with dark blue t shirt. Okay? And he's got beards. 
So, my cameraman will know Allah is talking about you. Okay? I will know I am talking about you because I give you a physical description. Muhammad claimed Allah took him to the somewhere in Jerusalem and then Muhammad claimed that he went into the mosque and then Quran says that is the Alaska mosque which is built 89 years minimum after his visit and which is approximate over 60 Why? years after his death no, no, Muhammad imposing, imposing I'm not imposing it give, Quran gives us the name of the masjid yes. and then says that Alaska the which is built on the 709 the no that's the thing the masjid is when, a is, place, when listen, was it the, built listen, masjid, when was Alaska mosque built masjid, al masjid means a place where people do worship of God David worshiped God Solomon worshiped God okay all of them prayed in that area that place okay so, so it was Solomon, to that. Solomon and David yes pray to where God did, pray, pray to God of Bible in Alaska Masjid is that what you are saying to me the place was is that there. what you are saying to me the place was already there I'm just is that referring to so what you meeting is my statement you correct you are telling me no, David and Solomon worshipped God in Alaska Masjid. Let me tell you this. Where did David and, 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 and Solomon worship God? In the temple. In the temple, okay. Is the That's wedding? not Alaska Masjid. That, well, that is not Alaska Masjid. So now you are changing the location. So Because you in you you put the meaning of the Alaska Masjid, the one you understand to be on that, that the one is mentioned there. It's not what I what I am understanding. Your Quran makes a claim. It is well detailed, well explained. I really have to go. Okay. okay. And that Quran says Alaska Mosque. Next week. Next week. Uh, see you next, next week. week yeah. yeah. So, um, question was to the Muslims when Muhammad traveled to Masjid al uh, to Jerusalem, and who were the eyewitnesses? Uh, Muslims didn't give us any eyewitnesses or anything, but Quran tells us Muhammad visited the Alaska Mosque. And we know Alaska Mosque is built in 709, which is long, long, long after the death of Muhammad. So that clearly shows us Surah 17 verse 1 proves that Muhammad is false prophet, Quran is false book, and Islam is false religion. That's all it is. Oh yeah, that's important.